Welcome back to the shop. After posting the video of the installation of the rotor and the brake caliper onto YouTube, I got a note from uh, a member of the C3 Corvette owner's Facebook page, and he said, uh, hey, you know, one of the things you need to do is check for the uh, runout on the rotor. Um, if you have too much runout, um, you'll feel a pulsation in the brakes. Um, so we talked about it a little bit and uh, what I'll show is um, how to test for that run out and to make the adjustments if the run out is too much. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, um, before we can uh, begin testing for run out, the first thing we need to do is tighten up the rotor against the hub. We do that by um, tightening down all of the lug nuts um, against the rotor so that it'll be uh, seated against the hub. Um, each of the nuts will be torqued to uh, 70 foot-pounds. Um, notice when you put the nuts on um, that the chamfer of the nut um, is facing out so that you get a good, a good bearing surface on the nut to the rotor. Next thing we do is set up the um, dial indicator on a magnetic base and um, set that dial indicator up so that it is uh, perpendicular uh, to the rotor in, um, in all, um, all planes, or as, as perpendicular as you can get. If you don't have, a perp don't have it uh, coming out perpendicularly, you're actually going to be measuring less um, uh, run out than you would if you were perpendicular. So you want to you be able to measure as much of the uh, run out as possible. Um, and then spin the rotor till you find where the zero point is, basically where the, the least amount of run out is. And uh, I've got this set so that we found the zero uh, running at about, measured on this uh, dial indicator setting, at about 49 thousandths. And then you basically just turn the rotor until you find the maximum reading. And this comes out at about uh, 56 or, or 57 so it's about seven to eight thousandths of run out and that's more than the um, uh, uh, the specification of 5,000 so we've got to make some adjustments here um, what I did uh, at this point is mark where I think um, the maximum amount of run out is and also where the minimum amount of run out is and then also make the same uh, marks on the uh, the bearing cap so that um, when I take the rotor off I'll make sure that um, I can clock this around um, as much as I possibly can to see if I can um, reduce the run out. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to take uh, take the rotor off, put it back on, and uh, then we'll, then we'll uh, do the run out test again. Okay, we got some interesting results. What I ended up doing is uh, turning the rotor about 100 and 180 degrees as best you can on a uh, five lug um, uh, hub. Um, but I lined up uh, the original zero um, pretty close to the to the um, the high point, and um, the old um, high point as close as I could to the. Uh, to the low point. What we now have is uh, a new high point which is um, on the other side of the the former high point and uh, a new low point which is on the other side. So what I'm going to end up doing now is and I, th I think it's the hub at this point but what I'm going to do now is um, rotate this um, rotor another um, quarter turn um, to see if I can eliminate it. If, if not, we're going to have to basically shim um, the surface between the, the hub and the rotor. So um, let's try it one more time. Okay, so um, we've done the test. Uh, this is the third time and it keeps on uh, the low point is zero here uh, where I've got the adjustment and where that basically lines up is um, 
where the original zero was on the hub and then if I uh, do it one more time uh, to find the maximum it comes out right about there and that lines up with what's on the hub where I had originally marked it as a as a seven it's kind of hard to see there but there it is um, so uh, this indicates that the hub is out um, and uh, that the uh, that the rotor is um, is flat so uh, we've got to uh, put a shim in and what we'll end up doing is uh, shimming the zero side out uh, so that uh, we can we can get it within five thousand so I'm gonna need to put in probably a five thousandth shim um, and that'll get us into the into the right range so off to the store so we received the correction plates in the mail from uh, Summit Racing we have a, um, a Raybestos um, correction plate and the part number here, uh, the, the, the last number in the part, um, indicates it's a six thousandths uh, correction. So this will help us uh, correct um, the lateral runout, which is eight thousandths, and get us down to approximately two thousandths. So we'll install the plates and um, re, uh, remeasure the lateral, lateral runout with the dial indicator and see if this does it for us. Okay, so this is what the correction plate looks like. It has a, um, a notch in it. That notch, I believe, is the uh, thickest part of the, the, gat, or the uh, correction plate. Um, we'll find out real quickly. Um, what I'm going to do is put the uh, notch on the side of the um, um, hub that had the, um, the greatest, actually, I want to flip it around so the notch will go on the um, on the zero side so it'll be uh, thicker on the zero side and thinner on the plus seven side or the plus eight side um, so we'll, we'll we'll try that out if it doesn't work we'll flip it around there weren't any instructions in this uh, package so we're figuring it out as we go along okay so Notch goes near the zero, the low end, which I had already previously marked on the uh, um, on the grease cap or the bearing cap. And then we put the rotor back on. As you remember, the rotor is pretty flat. There wasn't any uh, indication of um, one end of the, uh, one side of the rotor being more out of round than the other. I guess out of round is the wrong term. Out of parallel would be the right term. Okay, starting off at zero, I think at 30, or at least that's the initial point. The spin, whoop, I gotta get this touching first. Come on, Mike. All right, it's at 90 now, so I'll put it in. No, 80. 78. 78's our starting point. Make sure that's okay. 77. We're starting at 77. Let's go around and see what this does. 77. 77. So it goes from 86 to 74. 73. Okay, I guess I got the... the uh, the uh, um, notch on the wrong side. So we'll flip it around and see how that does. Okay. 
notches here. Flip that around. Come on. All right, set this up one more time. Okay, about 46, and let's give it a spin. Much better. Okay, so the notch goes on the, uh, on the high side. So we've now got a reading indicating we're going from 40, oh, almost 47. Uh, 43 so four thousandths run out okay we can live with that that's within spec okay very good next we'll uh